Hey guys, welcome back to the series and for week number 54 we're getting started on the back straight at Suzuka which is, oh, it's just a scary thought. It's a very narrow straight and when straights are as perilous as they are in Forza Motorsport things are bound to go wrong, like a car getting pinched between two other cars and taking, well, going into orbit. So coming in at number 4, we've pretty much all done this, at least I know I have. Uh, just pay attention to the magnificent Hot Wheels Mustang up ahead. He's going to get it a little bit too wide, get stuck on the grass, smash into a tire wall, and that's the end of pretty much his race. Uh, but, you know, that tire wall probably wouldn't be there in that way in real life, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, so next we've got Predator. I think he's changed his game tag again, but I'm just going with the one that I downloaded it off. But uh, pay attention to Rascal up ahead. Now, I did this layout for the first time in my stream the other day, and I was very confused, so I can fully understand what's about to happen. Uh, he's kind of not too sure where he was on the track, uh, even worse it was lap 3. So coming in at number 2, we've got Scored Buffalo, I, I don't know why he keeps hanging out in these uh, public meetups or whatever they are, I don't even know how they work, uh, because there's just so many idiots in there, I don't see the point in ramming in one of these. People just get in their Formula 1 cars and... Well, they try to ram. That was just a dismal effort. He was basically not on the same part of the track as the man he was trying to hit. And I, I found this clip. South didn't send it to me. I was just going through guys in JSR's clips. And I found this. South is celebrating. He's 1,200 foot ahead. And he's definitely not a drifter. And he's going to end up plowing into the edge of the pit lane. Could have been worse. He could have ended up in the pit lane. But he's either way. I'm going to finish in fifth place. Uh, after having such a comfortable lead and he's going to leave it a bit too late with the J turn so it could have been a bit better than fifth it probably would have uh, but either way that's well done south uh, now coming in for our first bonus clip invisibly has found a downside to the new collision system as i'm sure a lot of people have so you seem to just get stuck to other people that was actually looking pretty good at one stage and he's just going to get bullied around here he's sort of stuck to that honda and he's going to end up rolling as a result of it uh, so maybe the technique is to just bail out of anything when there's a bit of contact because you don't want to end up on your roof like invisibly. So next we've got Project Cars. I don't know if this is multiplayer or not, but that is an X car. And this is also an X car that is being driven by our man, yeah. Uh, and hey, car versus signboard? Let's try truck versus signboard. Signboard still wins almost every time. And to end off, car versus signboard? No, let's try car versus tire. So this ghosted tire, or ghosted car has just pushed the tire into Invisibleek's path and ended up spinning him. So that's quite unfortunate. Uh, yet another way to get spun out by someone else. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like. If you'd like to support this channel and make this series just keep going from strength to strength, uh, the Patreon link is up here and in the description. Uh, and if you want to send me clips, you can do so on my Xbox Club or in an Xbox message. And I'll see you guys in the next video.